how to warp as well as apply other settings to design such as this. Now these were all created using the cloud tool. Of course you could use any other shape as well, perfectly reasonable, but here's the cloud tool. Please check out the previous videos on how to use the cloud tool and use it with the contour tool as well. But you've got this design. I've grouped it. You don't have to group it, but it's grouped. But the key thing is select all the individual parts. So all the individual parts, they're all still cloud, they're all still live. So if you go to the cloud tool, what you can do, you can change the number of bubbles. So you can turn around and say, I want more or less. I can change your inner radius. And this is all along the control bar. You can also, if you wish, change all of the colors. Maybe go to layer and you can go down to new adjustment and maybe use one of the adjustments to modify all the colors. Or of course, you can just individually select all the various paths and change the colors. You can modify it, but you can also go down here in layers, down to the bottom to effects. So just click here. Now this is in designer two. You might see it obviously slightly different in version one. So click there. Now there's a few additional features with designer two. But the thing is, I'm just gonna go for one outer shadow. And that's the new feature of designer two. With one, you've only just got access to one shadow. And when you do, you can just go here and you can, with them all selected, that's the key thing, not the group. Not the group, the group is not selected, all the individual clouds are selected. And go for about half, about there. Once you've done that, you can see all selected, all done like that. So, creates a great 3D effect very quickly. And once you've done that, you can also, of course you can go and use some of the other ones as well, but I'm just gonna close it. And you can see the 3D effect, it's still live. So you can still go up here with those selected, not the group, but with those selected, you can go and change it. And again, key thing is that the cloud tool is selected. So they can be modified and you can increase it. Now at some point, it, it doesn't look so good. I think about 12, 15, perfect reasonable. Also, inner radius, you can change that. And as you change that, you can see the lovely 3D effect changing as well. But what you can also do is you can go down here. Got another option, the fourth item. And this is in Designer 2 only. You don't do the warping in Designer 2. So click there and you can go down here to twist. There's a whole load of other options and you can change your mind as well. Don't have to, you've got quad, perspective, arc. You can change it, just select twist and you can see a subtle twist there. Along the control bar, you've got the option here, warp, twist. It's live, so you can change it. You can tweak it using these no points as well, but you can also just simply just modify this setting. So I'm just gonna change it, and I can tweak it, and you can see as you change it, you can distort it in all kinds of ways. It's still live. Key thing is to know that you've got a warp group selected. Now, if I go down here and go to the cloud tool again, and of course I could go back again and warp it, just select that, and then change all the settings. But what you can do, you can still select all of those. And that's the key thing. You've got to select the clouds, not the warp group. If you select the warp group, it will not work. So you can see now you've got all access to these and gain bubbles. So you can turn around and say, oh, I want 14. So you can see you can change it. The warp is still active. And also in the radius, you can change that. And of course, <laughs> you can put it too low but you can see you can create some very unusual combinations by just warping that. And you can warp it to a certain point, maybe reduce the bubbles and so on. So literally thousands of different combinations of shapes. But also what you can do, go up here, go to the contour tool and you can modify that. And you can just add, and you can see that will change and warp. And you can create some interesting variations using that as well. You've also got different contour types, fills, etc. Please check out my previous videos on how to use this feature. But literally millions of possible designs all created simply by using that feature. That's using the contour tool. But still live. And also, we go here. You've got here, you've got the mesh. You can go and add some more meshes, tweak everything. But you can always at any point, let's just close that. Just go all the way up here. Go to this warp group and click that. Makes it and you click that. And you see, got the same setting there, 85. You can then change that and reduce it, maybe turn it the other way. And of course you can, again, 
add additional warp groups so you could combine it maybe with the other ones. And you've got fisheye, so let's go for fisheye, bend, and so on. Whole load of different options. Again, you've got exactly the same thing. And you can tweak the various points, distort it, double click there, and distort the entire design to create some very weird and wonderful three-dimensional warp designs. Obviously, it's not super quick. It's got a lot of processing. It's got lots of shapes. It's got the 3D effect. It's got the shadow. All those sort of things, contours. It's going to be a bit slower, but still, you can use it to create loads of great, amazing designs. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.